horsemen, fearless enforcers of the We're council's will. What a fury strike. Doing it live. Okay. To know those names, you must first know another. The game? What's the game Nephilim. called? No. Cursed yeah, union like... of angel and demon. Nephilim, countless yeah. realms pursued and burned to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed, and the rider's first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim and destroy their souls. Let us now cast our gaze to one amongst the war, who lies chained at the Council's feet, professing his innocence, but one who would save his brother above all else. He has many names. Kinslayer, Executioner, Death. Oh, I thought it was done. <laughs> to bargain for war's freedom, Death swore that he would resurrect humanity. This might be done. And so death rode forth into the icy veil to find the keeper of secrets. So that is what one would call an exposition dump. Oh, yes, all of this wonderful info right at the start of the game. Uh, what's your um, background with uh, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse? You, you tight with them, or? Um, I know literally zero about them. Zero. Oh, zero. So, yes. uh, okay. Um, well, there are these Google people called Christians. We'll start there. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> They're from the Bible, New Testament, Book of Revelation, um, four of them. Uh -huh. There is uh, death, famine, war, and conquest. And uh, Darksiders 2 uh, focuses on death. Um, that's why your horse is uh, the pale horse, because that's how he's represented uh, okay. in Christian mm -hmm. theology. Black horse is famine, red horse is war, and the white horse is conquest. Hmm. There's not too much to say about them except they represent... Uh, their respective uh, apocalyptic scenarios, um, disease, famine, war, and then right. just death generally. They of course show up in popular media all the time. Right. Um, people who watch this might be more familiar with their most current popular showing in Supernatural. Okay. They were represented there, I believe, uh, by a car. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a, you don't have much backstory with the Forestmen, and I'm um, guessing you don't have much backstory on the original Darksiders. No, I, I have none. So we're gonna have to get into all that. Before we do that, uh, why don't you introduce yourself? What's what's your name? I am Lauren, and who are you? Oh hi, I'm Tony, hi. and we're the Hack and Slash Gamers. And today, we're gaming together to get one trophy in Darksiders 2, the Definitive Edition. I'm sorry, did you say Definitive Edition? No, actually, I said Definitive Edition. 
Get it? Oh, you it's clever, clever developers. <laughs> We are playing this game today as it is one of the December 2017 PS Plus free downloads for the PlayStation 4. And the hope is that by the time we've achieved our trophy goal, we will have played enough of the game to get a substantive sense of the gameplay and story to give an informed opinion on whether this game is worth both the download space on your PS4 and the temporal space that it takes up in your otherwise busy life. Yeah. That's so what you looking at? Uh, What's happening? Well, right now I'm trying to find the settings so that I can turn down the um, volume of the game because it's always way too loud and then I can never hear you over the game. It's a problem. But I didn't It is a problem. I don't know why they assume awesome that we'd want to know the sound of the game. That's, that's right? silly. Um, hack and slash games. Game. You play Kingdom Hearts? Yes. This is a little bit like that. It's an RPG, hack and slash. You play God of War? Uh, not really. A little bit like that. Imagine like a combo of God of War and Kingdom Hearts. Not having played God of War, it's a violent interpretation of mythological and or religious themes. Okay. Okay. I, I'm not finding the sound settings, so I apologize if the game sounds a lot louder than our voices, because I just don't know how to fix it. Tony, can you look up to see if there's a way to change that? Yeah, of course I can. I'll use, uh, I don't know if you've heard of it, it's called Google. <laughs> Google. Fun word. Let's see. You try and look up these types of issues, and you get a billion questions and answers about sound mods for the PC version. <laughs> Every time you try and troubleshoot anything, it's all you have to specify PlayStation 4 because yeah. you know, the PC master race uh, have a lot of tweaks to do. Right. Uh, my horse just disappeared. Oh, because I have time to walk. Yeah. I don't know, so we're gonna have to yell. That's okay. Okay, so um, our our uh, thousands and thousands of fans may be, may be yelling at their screen, but Tony and Lauren, did, did I miss your stream with Dark Siders One? Will I be totally lost if I haven't seen that or played this game? I mean, that's a valid question. You know, but I, I would say to them, no, we did not miss our stream with Dark Siders One because we did not have a stream with Dark Siders One. We have not played this game, neither of us, and uh, will you be lost? Um, only as much as we're going to be lost, so uh, you'll be in good company. You are, you're picking up the loot. Why doesn't it just, like, it should just go into my inventory when I wander over it? Yes, you're going to get a tutorial on how to change the settings so that you will automatically pick up that loot. Oh. Uh, you might be able to do it now if you kind of play around in the settings, but you can wait for the tutorial if, you know, it doesn't, pops up in a couple of minutes. Uh, oh, purple. I'm like, I'm trying to pick this up. Why isn't it picking up? But I was definitely pressing the wrong button. And, uh, oh, what's that? I believe our, our millions of uh, subscribers are now yelling at their screen, but, but Tony and Lauren. I played Darksiders 2, but but not the definitive edition. What does that even mean? What's the difference between the vanilla Darksiders 2 and the definitive edition? Yes, I want to know. And I would say to that person, so stop yelling at your screen. It is not the best way to communicate with us. We have a Twitch stream. You can just type in comments. So uh, you know, get a little better at the internet. But Plus, I don't the like point of their questions. That, so. <laughs> And if you give a comment, we'll even respond to you. It's, it's a live stream. That's the fun of this. That's the whole point. 
But more to the point, I'm going to give you some of the major differences between the Vanilla and Definitive Edition. The Definitive Edition includes all the downloadable content that was made available for the Vanilla Edition. Most notably, story, DLCs, the Abyss, and the Demon Lord, Belial. I'm going to pronounce it that way. Okay. I'm sure that's a, a Christian reference. Uh, reworked and tuned game balancing and loot distribution, improved graphic render engine for higher visual quality, especially in terms of lighting and shadows, improved and reworked level, character, and environment graphics, and you should notice that you're running in native 1080p resolution. Mmm, fancy pants. Yeah, so uh, we're playing we're playing the Cadillac of Darksider 2s. <laughs> All the features. You got the, you know, the, the heated chair, the, the, I don't know, the Bluetooth connection. You got it. How are you enjoying the controls? Uh, are you feel, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, jump is what I expected to see. Attack is what I thought. Uh, R1 is, um, dodgeball. Let's see how you handle the jumping mechanics. I am going to spoil you a little bit and say that I had a little bit of difficulty getting a, a good grasp on all of the wall climbing mechanics and the jumping mechanics. But after a while it caught on, so we'll, we'll see how well you do with it. Okay. I just missed where I go to make the thing go auto. I yeah. read it and then I didn't follow what it said. How do I do that? I'll read it in a second. I am delayed. So let's oh, see. That's, that's fine. We get a second chance. For it, man, the delay is, is yeah, extreme. Yeah, this seems a lot today. It's like I'm, 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 it's like that movie with Sandra Bullock. We're communicating two years difference. <laughs> wow, we're in the lake house. <laughs> you actually remember that movie? That's hilarious. Um, I so love go to that the movie. option screen. Yeah, I'm there. Do you really? It's I think it's a terrible. It's, ter movie. it's terrible, but it's I just I I don't know, and I have a soft spot for. It. I think it's because it's Keanu Reeves, to be honest. Anyway, I'm on the options menu. There should be a box that says auto loot somewhere. I, I mean, I figured that, but I just don't know where. I'm, I, there's so many different. Probably under the equipment. Probably. Of my inventory? Yeah. Is it like... Oh, you know what? This might not be the option screen. Uh, push in the touchpad. Oh. That's good. Uh, okay. This is probably where I... Why won't it? Options. This is where we find the game options, guys. Touchpad menu. <laughs> this is where I can change the sound. Okay. But it just said, on the screen, it just said, in the options menu. Which, when you press the options button, you'd think that that's where that would go. But no, it's this you, whole other different thing. You would think. Yeah. Um, I don't when I, developers oh, take ahead. the time to actually call out the differences between... For example, an Xbox or PC and a PS4 version, and you know, label their things the way that it should be for the respective console. Yeah. A lot of respect. Yeah. When they don't, not a lot of respect. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of frustrating because it took me forever to find these these volume things, and now I can probably actually hear what you're saying to me. So, that's fun. <laughs> now you're gonna be like, oh, oh no, turn that volume back up. Yeah, right. Ugh, why do I want to hear what Tony's saying? Um, I made a, made a terrible mistake. So, wh what I was gonna say was that I don't like that you can't use the D-pad on the menus. Yes. Like, I always use the D-pad on menus for whatever reason, it just is easier. But, now it's like... No, I agree. You have I agree, and thank it. you everyone for tuning in to Nitpicking, the uh, <laughs> video game. Nitpicking 101. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. It is a little things. Yeah. You know, you, 
I think Wait, you I are a big know. fan of uh, you know we're both in our in our thirties. Spoilers. Yeah. So we're big um, big we're fans <laughs> of uh, podcasting, and uh, we both like Ninety Nine Percent Invisible with uh -huh. uh, one Roman Mars. Yeah. And uh, that podcast is all about design that is uh, invisible that you don't notice, and that's mm -hmm. that's effective design. Yeah. Yeah, these, just uh, these little not, things I'm not that make seeing... your life much better. Yeah. Okay. Press and I believe that's L. back where you came from. Yeah, no, I know. I figured that out. <laughs> Probably two years ago since I'm Yeah, you're, you're, you're <laughs> communicating through letters in, in a two-year separated <laughs> mailbox. <laughs> oh, boy. So, um, may I give you some uh, stats on developer, publisher, oh, all that? Oh, um, actually, but can, I, can we talk about the trophies first? We could. We could yeah, skip yeah. the order. Let's go straight yeah, to trophy. I, I like the trophies first because it at least gives me an idea of what I'm meant to be doing here. You know, Let's the whole it. point of the thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you want to know the point of what you're doing? You want, yeah. you want a, a meta <laughs> existential Let's, answer yes, to what we're doing yes, here? Yes, please. I'm having an existential crisis. I need your help. Okay, here's your purpose in life. Get ready. Okay. okay. This episode is going to be a targeted trophy, which okay. means we're working towards a specific trophy goal. We can get others along the way, but our challenge is only complete when we pop the following trophy. Mm -hmm. Fire of the Mountain, which you get by completing Fire of the Mountain. Oh, okay. Very descriptive and helpful, yes. The game is set up essentially via missions. Um, so okay. you won't need any particular guidance. Just follow follow the path that the game lays out for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. That trophy is a bronze trophy. 62.54% of people at psnprofiles.com, which is a trophy aggregator of trophy collectors, have collected it, which means that uh, it is a very common trophy, one of the top ones that people collect. Mm-hmm. may be saying to yourself, uh, that's very common. We usually go for uh, a little bit more of a challenge. The thing is that this game is a long one. And in order to... We're going to be playing for a while just to get that one. <laughs> so, oh, great. Yeah. I hope, uh, I hope you're enjoying it. Cause, uh, we're going to be here for a minute. Where? Oh, okay, yeah. Going to be playing for a minute. Got it. Other than the trophy that we are going for, mm -hmm. generally this game has a, a platinum trophy at 8.17%, which is uh, considered very rare. Three gold, six silver, 40 bronze for a total of 1,230 points. Okay. The reason that it has so many bronze trophies, I don't know if 40 jumps out at you, is because um, it is all the DLC trophy. Oh. That's been combined into this... Uh, definitive version. Right, right, right. The original trophy list for the original Darksiders 2 um, seemed to have a lot of trophies that require connecting to a server and that no longer exists because um, you know those servers don't exist anymore. Sure. Do they still have those trophies? Like are they still listed in the trophy? Oh well not on this edition right they got rid of them. Right on the PS3 version they are so if you happen to be following along with us by playing your original PS3 vanilla version Yeah, you're not going to be able to collect uh, those trophies anymore. So sure. wah, wah. And I've already had my um, my rage fest on on online trophies that get disabled. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, we've talked about that angry by that so um, Hey, Tony, I see that there are people hey. chatting in our in our chat room, but I can't see the comments can you, can you Oh the gosh Yes, the comments say following. Oh boy, what's up, Lauren and Tony? When can I expect some League of Legends gameplay? Oof. League of Legends. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing about League of Legends it. and and <laughs> yeah, exactly, and World of Warcraft and all these things is that I get I get so addicted to that kind of stuff. Yeah. I already have a problem with installing a game and needing to get every trophy and right. and these type of experiences where it's this competitive play that you know continually evolves uh -huh. i can't handle that you i think are more likely to do that because you've done overwatch for so long yeah but the thing about overwatch is that it's one of these games where you can like jump in and play and it doesn't require like 
I feel like with like World of Warcraft and those types of other games, it's like, are there like timed? I don't know. I don't really know much about League of Legends or World of Warcraft, but I know there's like things that are like raids and all these. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Overwatch is something you can jump in and play for 20 minutes and call it a day and not get like super addicted to it or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, uh, a commenter is stating addiction is good. In case you don't know who a commenter is, it is a uh, uh, one Philip. We know, we know him. Oh, hi Philip. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he wants us to get addicted. Have you ever been addicted to a game that you felt like, okay, I'm I'm too much into this, I need to stop? Oops. Addicted to a game? Um... Well, he's stating our overall volume is pretty low. Oh, maybe that's just him. I've never, um, I don't... What was the question? Have I been addicted to a game? Yeah. Anything that you felt like, I'm, I'm too much into this. Um, for a while, I was super addicted to Overwatch. Like, super addicted. Um, mm -hmm. But that was okay. So let me preface Overwatch a little bit. I started playing Overwatch when I was unemployed. <laughs> so I played it every day for like hours and hours and hours. I, uh, I don't play it so much anymore. I, I played it for the first time yesterday since like Halloween and it was I, the only reason I've been playing it is because they came up with their Christmas event or whatever so mm -hmm. um, yeah but that's the only game I feel like I've been like okay I need to stop playing this because it's a problem what about you uh, before I get to meet weren't you also playing this mobile cat game for a long time oh uh, yeah but that's like but it wasn't really like an addiction. It it wasn't like I sat there for hours on end and like couldn't stop playing it. It's basically like you put out a toy and wait for the cat to come. Like you're, there's there's like yeah. no way for you to like. I don't know where I'm meant to be going from here. I feel like over uh, this jump way, to the but, left. Yeah, I've been trying to do that, but like it. Oh, there we go. Okay, never mind. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, it was uh, it was Pokemon. Oh, As Pokemon sure. evolved and it had a lot of competitive play, I couldn't stop. It got to the point where I was... I don't know if you know about, like, how um, complicated Pokemon became past the first few, but they had all of these hidden stats that you could grind in order to get the correct nature and the correct EV and IV scores, and you would spend hours and hours getting, you know, your guy just to the point where he could become competitive and <laughs> it was too much. I, I spent way too much of my life doing that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh. No, I mean, past like the first few Pokemon games I didn't really play. I mean, I, I, I guess I didn't realize that they got like super, I don't know, crazy. Yeah. And I feel like we can't get into an addiction, a conversation with gaming without touching on some of the recent controversy with um, Star Wars Battlefront and EA and loot oh, boxes. Yeah. Have you yeah. have you been following any of that? Um, yeah, I've totally been following like the EA stuff with their, um, you know, sixty dollars for the base game where you basically don't get anything, and then you have to like unlock all the different characters either by paying for the stuff or like playing like an, a ridiculous amount of gameplay. Yeah. And um, and just even like you know in Europe they're considering making. Um, loot boxes they're considering those as gambling and like trying to outlaw them and like which I think is a little ridiculous because loot boxes are an incentive you don't have to buy them you know you, you don't mm -hmm. have to uh, well maybe in overwatch you don't have to you get rewarded them for doing things so yeah. and that's really the only experience I have with loot boxes I guess but this whole like and, and you know the destiny 2 thing that just happened I don't know if you've mm -hmm. heard anything about that, where, like, the game, you bought it, and then after an update, it, like, locked all this content behind a paywall, and it was like you already paid oh. for the game. That w the, the content was unlocked when you first got the game, but then they released a patch that, like, locked it all, and you had to pay for it again, basically. Like... Yeah, that's that's insidious. That's false advertising, <laughs> is what that is. And they could... Yeah. Uh, people should just sue the shit out of them, because that's, like, not... Stupid Bungie. What are they doing? Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, it's a complicated issue. Of course, a lot of these games that are, you know, rated E, for example, uh, here mm -hmm. in America, we've used that rating. Um, it means that these games are intended to be also uh, fine for children. You have right. a gambling component to a game that's also for children. That's, I don't know, I don't... Yeah. I sympathize with, um, you know, the, the gamer mentality on this, that, that these are not not things that should be um, prevalent in our games. Yeah. I agree. I totally agree. And it's like EA's, you know, on Reddit, they make fun of EA's whole, like, you know, we wanted to give the gamers the, you know, like the sense of accomplishment for unlocking, you know, the characters or whatever. But it's like, when you have to play for, like, some ridiculous amount of gameplay that no person in their right mind would ever spend on that game just to unlock a specific character, it's like... How is that a sense of accomplishment? That just feels like it's a draining my life away to play this game. And like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not saying about it as you. Yeah. <sighs> so uh, back to Darksiders. Yeah. Let me give you some developer publisher information. Oh, sure. Let me just uh, give you some stats. People love stats. Some people do. <laughs> I, I do. I really do. <laughs> I'm that guy who's like fun facts about everything. So okay. Darksiders 2, <laughs> the definitive edition, mm -hmm. and uh, if you would do me the favor and say that five times fast. No. <laughs> <laughs> was developed by Vigil Games, an Austin, Texas company founded in 2005. They became part of THQ in 2006, okay. developed Darksiders in 2010, and Darksiders 2 in 2012. But due to THQ's bankruptcy, they became defunct as a company in January of 2013. Wow. So this game How do you prefer? Do you prefer 2012 or 2012? 2012. Okay. I'll do, I'll do 20s. I prefer that too, but... <laughs> yeah, this is now the third game Whoops. that we've played in which it had a very... Um, the developers and publishers had troubled histories. Yes. So I don't know what that speaks to as far as, um, you know... PlayStation, of course, negotiates for these games. There, there's a, a back and forth between, yeah. you know, uh, gamers getting these games for free, but there's a certain kickback that, of course, goes back to the developers. And so, you know, I wonder with these companies that have gone bankrupt or at least have gone through a lot of um, financial turmoil, mm -hmm. how much of a factor that is. I would love to yeah. maybe be a fly in that room and, and know how this comes to be. Well, yeah, I mean, do they, do they, oops, I keep dying. <laughs> how do I, oh. <laughs> um... Uh, what was I, we were talking, oh, do they, so when the, when the, like, the developers of the game, when they're, like, mm -hmm. put, when they try to negotiate for these things, do they, do they deal with the people that then distributed the game instead, or I, how does that work? I wonder. Oh, as far as if the publisher or the, or the developer gets, um, yeah. a kickback? Yeah. I mean, or I'm like, sure even if they, the company. Who do they even talk to about putting these in, uh, as the free game at that point, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, as far as this game goes, um, the remnants of uh, this company was actually purchased by uh, THQ Nordic. So THQ Nordic currently owns the, the development rights for Darksiders. Okay. So I'm assuming that, that they're the Yeah. Currently. Wow, you keep cutting out. Um. Are you there? I'm here. Oh. Did you ask a question? No, you had cut out. I... Oh, sorry. I was just giving a long and detailed history of game development. You know, yeah, I was on yeah, my yeah. fourth or fifth minute of just getting into the nitty gritty. So people <laughs> lost that. Well, that's a shame. I mean, they didn't lose all of it. I just lost you at the right at the very end. Was it was like, it was a good end. I'm gonna tell you. I, I know. I'm sorry. I missed it. Yeah, well, THQ Nordic, who is the publisher for this game, yeah. is also known for Ori in the Blind Forest and Quantum Break. And coming out in 2018 is Darksiders 3. Oh, they're making a third one? They are. Um, I can, you can tell, so this game originally came out in 2012, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, you can, I mean, look at the, the character design. Like, this guy definitely looks like a 2012 guy. <laughs> I mean, he's not very... He doesn't have much detail to him, right? Like, he's not very... Yeah, I mean, um... 
So you're saying the game looks a bit dated? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, for me, that wouldn't be a problem if the, if the gameplay were, um, I don't mean to spoil, but if it were a little tighter. But honestly, the game does feel dated. The gameplay yeah. and the, the character design. There's, there's a lot of things you feel like, okay, you know, this can be improved upon and mm -hmm. most likely will be in Darksiders 3. Well, you would hope. You know, speaking of that, Darksiders 1 uh, did very well. Uh, the first one sold um, over a million units and had a Metacritic rating of 83. The second game, which I won't give the Metacritic rating yet, but it only yeah. sold 247,000 units in August of 2012 and then didn't get many more, didn't meet its expectations. So THQ uh, definitely lost some money on this. Well, no wonder that they went bankrupt then. Yeah, well, I think they were thinking this would be, uh, you know, uh, sequels are, are a popular thing, not just in video games, but yeah. you know, in, in every medium. It's uh, easy money. You know, you, you rely on the popularity of the first one, you come back to it, you expect there's certain people who are just going to do it just based on the name recognition or just based on, you know, wanting to complete, quote unquote, a story. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess that wasn't enough to bring people back. Hmm. You um, may have caught on that it's called the Definitive Edition because you were currently playing the Horseman of Death. Right, yes. The remastered edition of the first game was called the War Mastered Edition because you played the Horseman of War. Ah, clever. clever. You, uh, I think we've had several references to this character going after his brother, so uh, that would be the Horseman of War. Uh, what's interesting is that as you keep playing, you're going to notice that there's a certain amount of um, uh, textual mystique around what happened to the Horseman of War and what role he's played in the current turmoil on Earth. But I'm assuming that if you've played the first game, which again, I haven't and I haven't done any research into the first game. Right. I don't know whether that would not be a mystery, you know, whether, you know, we would know the answer to this and how that would affect your perception of, of the story here. So I, I assume that this is like taking a lot of liberties with these horsemen characters. I assume that this doesn't ha happen in the, in the Bible. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a fair guess, yeah. Okay. Um, the, the story, it takes... Uh, it takes liberty not only with these characters, but it also adds a higher mythos of not angels and God. It's it's more about you know a council and creators, oh, okay. and so you'll see that it, it gets into a little bit of mixing matching of different mythologies, which is uh, expected, especially since uh, THQ Nordic ended up taking over. I'm sure we'll be seeing some Nordic influence. Okay, all right. We got some story going on in the background here. Yeah, yeah, let it let it play out. Yeah. Let it let it wash over you. Let it happen. That guy just turned into a lot of birds. He did. Oh, I'm gonna fight this guy now? Alright.
Boo, the button mashing bit. What? I didn't mash the button enough? The game requires you to do a lot of uh, dodging. Yeah. Which I believe is with the R1 button. So yeah. anytime that you see a major enemy come at you, I would recommend dodging, which is, is unusual. A lot of the easy settings in these games really just button mashing. But as far as the, the quick time event you just did, yeah. Hard to tell. Yeah. I don't like the camera stuff. L2 will lock onto an enemy. Uh, yeah, I know. I know that. Okay. It's still not great, you know. Yeah. So the the crow master, the um, mm -hmm. the guy I guess you're fighting. Yeah. Uh, he's played by Keith. I'm gonna kill this last name. Sarbachka. It's a Polish last name. So Sarbachka. Okay. Let's go with that. Okay. Um, you might know him from Angel. He played uh, Daniel Holtz in Angel, a vampire hunter. Oh and yeah. And he also was in The Dark Knight, and he was in L.A. Noir as the detective. Huh. Um, I don't know if you know this, but Angel is one of my favorite shows. Really? I did yeah. not know that. Yeah. I like it better than I like Buffy. Wow, that's that's sacrilege in some circles. I know. Okay, so I just earned oh. a trophy. I earned Crow Carrion, which is not the trophy that we're going for, but Correct. still a trophy. Yes, yeah, the trophy you just received. I'm going to look up to make sure that we are saying the right thing. You got for defeating the Crow Father. 87.85%. A common trophy, the most common trophy received for this game. Sure, that that makes sense. I mean, and it marks the halfway mark. Oh, we're halfway there. We're doing pretty good, if I may say so myself. You let me know when cutscenes are done. Yeah, yeah. Be still, horseman. You are wounded. Your arrival here is a bad This is definitely this this dude is definitely Nordic. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. This world is dying, lad. Choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, the great tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the tree. Chaos and corruption don't concern me. No, I wasn't ready. I was drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> they do not care. Yeah, I know. Um, so we've talked a bit about like tutorial levels and how you know how are are they necessary? What's the good? What's the good like? you know, amount right. of tutorial. And right. I do like how this game has done it. 
um, where like you're just like doing the thing, and then it's like, oh hey, by the way, you know, here's how to do this X Y Z thing, which will help you. Um, yeah. And and it's not it's it's unobtrusive, and it's not like oh you're dumb, like you didn't figure this out on your own. It's like this is what you need to know to play the game properly. You know, it's not like right. like. Yeah, they don't do it. Um within the game's story there's no character who who teaches you how to do right. things it's it's a notification essentially yeah and you can even turn them off if you were to go into the settings you could turn those messages off so mm -hmm. i do like it too it gets into the to the to the meat of the story without weighing you down on you know usually the basics that are like use the left stick to walk use the right stick to you know that right. i find ridiculous yeah it's like as if you've never played a video game before in your entire life like oh <laughs> yeah in some games i feel like they think this will be the first game i don't know who they're catering to yeah children new, new time gamers i just i don't know i really and i can see that if it's a game that is aimed at children but mm -hmm. this game clearly is not you know Um, I, I think I lost Tony, so, uh, it's just me for now. Um, apparently there was some sort of network connection error and I lost him from my party, which is sad. Um, hoping that he comes back. Okay, looks like I can do some skill upgrading here. Um, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Tony is now texting me. <laughs> All right, sorry guys, this isn't, we're having some technical issues. Tony says he thinks he lost me, which is obvious because he's no longer in my party and I don't want to keep leaving the game to create a party, but I've asked him to make one so that he can join us again uh, soon. Um, yes, there he is. Join. Okay. Hello, are you there? No, welcome back to you. <laughs> oh, I was saying it to me. I, I didn't think I'd get it from you, so welcome back, me. Oh, welcome back, Tony. I've been here the whole and time. And you, you just missed the half an hour lecture I was giving on the metaphysics of, of gameplay. That's a shame. Oh, that is a shame. What were we even talking about? I don't even remember. Oh, the tutorial <laughs> stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which we we skipped the tutorial on Twitch streaming. I don't know if yes. that's if that's obvious or not. <laughs> uh, so uh, while you yeah. were away, I leveled up and I gained an ability and I set it on my uh, my map, my uh, control scheme. So there we go. 
That's what happened. Which ability did you choose? The the warping or the um or the school helpers? I don't remember. Whatever one is on the left. <laughs> That'd be the warping. Okay, then that's what I chose. For your next run, I do recommend the ghouls. They are particularly helpful. Um. Yeah. Okay. Do you know that I've never uh, gone back and played any of the games again that we've played? Characters? None of them. Nope, not a single one. Do you do you plan on ever going back, or are you happy, you know, one and um, done in them? Yeah, uh, for the most part, I've been okay. Just you know, never going back to them. I I don't really. I haven't found one yet that I, I'm like absolutely yes, I must finish this game. Yeah. I mean, Q was that way a little bit, but. I just, I got over it fast. <laughs> you know, that's interesting. I have, I think, except for Kung Fu Panda, yeah. which I immediately deleted from my I, system. I deleted it as soon as we finished playing it. And I feel bad because we have a lot of Kung Fu Panda fans in, yeah. in, our, in our stream. Yeah. And um, it's the one I think that we liked the least. But uh, mm -hmm. other than that one, I think I've gone back and played every single game. Uh, Hugh, I platinumed. Yeah. There's one other I can't remember. Hatoful boyfriend. Yes. Oh god, that was that was an experience, man. <laughs> uh... Out of all the games, I feel like that one has the highest disappointment factor. Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah. you know you hear like pigeon dating simulator and you think this could be really good, and then you play it. Yeah, and you're I like, think what could go wrong? This is a classic genre. Yeah. That uh. It's my favorite only genre. has enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so we're now in the first level of this game. Your shadow has long hovered over this realm. Yeah. Many know the Reaper, old one. But I and um, other than your main character, who honestly, um, the voice actor hasn't done very much other than this. Mm -hmm. I do want to give you some more cast info. Um, particularly, Troy Baker plays uh, Abaddon in this game. Oh, yeah? And uh, it's no surprise that Troy Baker is in this game because he's basically in every video he's game. The game. Uh, to say he is a prolific voice actor is an understatement. Yes, for sure. In fact, of the games we've played for this channel, he was also in Infamous Second Son. He played the main character, Delson. Yeah. And he was in Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. He played Ocelot, both characters you met. Yes. Though I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell you which of the characters, who, who was Ocelot in that game. I have no idea. Was he the one at the end that like came and rescued me or whatever? On the horse? He was on the horse. He, oh, okay. Oh, at the, the, when he was at, yeah, after the opening level where he was like telling yes. you what you had to go do. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I remember that. Another game that you were like, what is happening? Yeah. Well, having never played a Metal Gear game in my life, I was a little confused. Having never played a Darksiders game, how are you finding the, the story here? Are you completely lost or...? Honestly, I'm not paying attention to it at all. Yeah, the game tends to lead you to not... It's almost like the game doesn't care. It's like, here's the story, uh, your brother, stuff happened, go. Yeah. Metal Gear was like, sit down, Lauren. We have a tale to tell you. Yeah, and it was like we're gonna we're gonna have all the cutscenes and not let you play this game until you know all of the things we want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> until you pass our pop quiz, you cannot play level one. Right, dear lord. These. <laughs> Um, you know, I'll give Metal Gear that it's uh, it's ambitious. It's trying to do something, whether it succeeds yeah. or not. You can have a, a conversation. I don't think that this game is trying. No, no, I think this game doesn't give a shit if you care about what's going on. Yeah, and I, I don't think that's a good quality. Like, no. if your game was a lot of fun, okay, you know, we can get we can get through that. Right. But it's not even like it's a it's campy enough, or it's just you know, irreverent enough. It's clearly has something there that it just doesn't bother delivering. Yeah.
So you mentioned the games he was dated. I should point out that the um, definitive edition uh -huh. was released in October of 2015. So, so that version alone is is now two years old. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't like his body yeah. proportions. Does he look weird? <laughs> like his waist <laughs> is so tiny compared to his shoulders, and his arms seem really extra. His arms go down to his knees. Yeah, I mean, I took it to, <laughs> I was going to say, I took it to be that he's not human, and yeah. so you can get away with sort of right. a skeletal look. Well, sure. But if you look at the I character mean, design dead. of, yeah, if you look at the character design of the makers, um, they're also a little odd. I mean, I assume they're supposed to be kind of, I don't know, proto-gods or something. But, yeah. Yeah. You know, especially her design, and I don't, I don't, I feel like, again, we're getting the nitpicky, but... The way that she is so sexualized, she has armor everywhere except for her breasts. It is it is odd. Yep. I mean, it's just clearly like a male fantasy thing, and I, I don't know. Yeah, she, I don't like her design at all. It feels very whatever. Like, it feels, I don't know, like a trope. It feels like they just pulled from a bunch of standard... I don't know, action genres, and, and like they pulled these elements from God of War, and they pulled these elements from Kingdom Hearts, and they didn't really put their own identity on it. Yeah. How do you like the hub? Equipping things? Uh, the map, those elements, do you find it intuitive or do you have to kind of work around to use the tools you need? Um, so the, going into the options and like, you know, the, so like picking your weapons and stuff, that's all like, mm -hmm. that, that confuses me because you go in and you press R1 to like, or L1 to scroll through like the top options. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to like whatever thing you're looking for, like weapons or whatever, then you have to press R2 or L2 to scroll through like the sub options. Why can't mm -hmm. I just use the frickin' D-pad to scroll through the shit? Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, wh uh, why the R buttons? Like, I don't know. <laughs> no, that's, that's excellent. That's it. It feels like something that had they sat down with a, a, a test player, yeah. one test player, yeah. a test player would have said, this doesn't feel natural, can yeah. it be this button? Yep. And it's not like the the keypad is, um, the keypad, the touchpad is D-pad, thank you, is yeah. um, coded to anything else in the menu. So it just feels like it's, like you could have both, you could have the D-pad and the L2. Yeah, yeah. Right. like I get, okay, so yeah, L2, R2 to go left and right between the different menus, but then when you're in the menu, just D-pad. Like, cool. Um, but I feel like I was, I feel like when I played um, Dragon Age Inquisition, I had the same complaint. Because when you're equipping oh. the stuff on your um, on your team members or whatever, when you're going through their mm -hmm. equipment, it's R2, L2, I think, to like scroll back and forth between them. But then it's like, once you're on whichever one you want, it's like the same thing. It's the shoulder buttons or whatever. And right. I would always press the wrong flipping one and I would end up scrolling to the next character instead of scrolling to whatever option that I wanted or whatever. And I was just like, ugh, stop. Yeah. You know, out of all the game design elements, it feels like um, inventory management, menu management, yeah. feels like it should be streamlined. That game to game, that element should almost be universal. Because we have examples of, of versions that work, that people yeah. enjoy, that come natural, and versions that don't. And why we feel like we need to reinvent the wheel with every game on this yeah. is beyond me. It feels yeah. like, go with what works, assuming it matches the general feel of your game but you know there really shouldn't be that many variations to this yeah no i agree and for this one you know it takes you out of the game entirely uh -huh. it, it doesn't overlay on top of the game yeah it takes you to a separate menu with a background and it, it cuts the action i don't love it is i guess what i'm getting at yeah well and then there's like the different the other the other 
menu, which I don't even remember how to get to anymore. Where I was like... The touchpad, yeah. No, not that one. The, like, hitting... It's down on the D-pad to get to, like, where you set up your... Oh, action yeah. Action buttons or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then, so this action button is L1 plus the other button. I'm never gonna mm -hmm. flip and remember that. You know what I mean? This teleport slash, it's L1 plus... Yeah. Whatever. Like... Yeah. I mean, I know we're, we're backseat developing here, but it, when it doesn't feel natural, it doesn't work. Yeah. And I mean, I get that there's only so many buttons on the controller that you can push, so you have to, like, combine things. That's logical. That makes sense. But when I have to, like continue to go back into the menu to figure out which buttons to push like that doesn't when i'm in a fight that's not going to be helpful right well i mean it feels like you'd have an extension for example if your action button is x if you're swinging your sword is x your attack yeah. button is x yeah. then it feels like a variation of that should include the button x instead of mapping it to an l button Right. If that's how you want to do it, you want to map things to the L button, well then just have a press of the L button be the attack, you know? You want things to feel consistent rather than you're going to a completely different button setup for a variation of the same activity. Yeah. Yeah, like, hey, this move is like a, a jump slash or whatever. And then mm -hmm. when, you, like, the, the extra move of that is like, you know, whatever. Like the extension right. of that, you would want it to, to be the same. Like, oh well, you know, X plus whatever is. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, you've got it. I agree. That's that's exactly how I feel. Which is, I think, sort of how it worked in Dragon Age Inquisition, where you. Yeah, had, that might like, be. It's been a while since I played that, but that. Yeah, that, same. It, that seems familiar. It feels like when you went through your like paths of like figuring out, of like unlocking skills or whatever, it was like, hey, this move is is L1 plus X, right? And then the further move is like L2 plus X or whatever. Like, oh, yeah. that makes sense to me. Because it's still the X button, you just push the other. I I'm making stuff up about what the actual controls are, but you get what I'm saying. Oh, totally. Square during forward evade. Okay, it's free. Why not buy it? <laughs> the first one's free, but you know what that means. Yeah, right. That's how they get you hooked. Here, just exactly. a taste. <laughs> Use Harvester Revenge by pressing R1, which is forward evade, plus square. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Let me try it. Go for it. Oh, that's cool. I know you're on a delay, but it's going to be cool when you finally see it. I'm looking forward to it in cool. two years. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Tony, don't come to, don't come to the wherever on Valentine's Day two years from now. Because you're going to die in a car accident. That's right. I remember it frustrating me because it felt like that event was so easily avoidable. Yeah. You had two years to prevent this from happening, and you managed to not do it. No, she did do it. He didn't end up dying. But Didn't again, he get hit, though? He did in the, the first time. Okay. Like, in her timeline, because he's two years behind, you know? So in her mm -hmm. timeline, he got hit. But in his timeline, when it's that day, he doesn't get hit. But then, mm -hmm. but then again, with all good time travel movies, it creates paradoxes. Because then why wouldn't he have shown up on the date that they had scheduled? Why wouldn't he have called her then on the date slash time that they had originally planned for if he hadn't died in that car accident? You know what I mean? <laughs> Somehow, I feel like they did not spend much time thinking about the the rules of time travel in that movie. Well, 
My, my, okay, so I want to watch the original Korean movie that it's based on to see how they handle these things, because I feel like maybe they did it better? I don't know. <laughs> well, well, we'll watch the movies, we'll come back, and we'll continue with the second episode of Two Lake Houses, One Mailbox. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the same lake house. It's the same mailbox. <laughs> Two years, one That's mailbox. What... <laughs> that's that's perfect. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's good. Where am I going? So it looks like you've entered the first dungeon. Mm -hmm. Which is good. Yeah. I just don't know where I'm going. Am I meant to go down here in the water, where this thing is? Um, you can get a collectible in the water. Otherwise, oh, I, I believe you have to go up above the water. When in water, press and hold triangle to swim down and X to swim back up. Okay. Cool, I collected a thing. And how do I get out of here? Oh, yeah, but like how above the wall? Oh, over there? Yeah. Wait, this is where I came in, isn't it? Oh, that was dumb. I think there's a climbable vine path near the beginning. I don't know if you see that. Oops. Where? I found this not obvious as well. Um, as opposed to going into the water, yeah. to the right, if you're facing the water, I believe is a climbable... Um, yeah. It's kind of like that bricky vine looking thing. No, there's like a wall, but I don't, I went up there. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm so far behind. Okay, I just okay. saw you get the collectible. Oh it's so gosh. bad. There's this wall here. I'm watching you from the past. Yeah, um. Oh, never mind. I just had to jump down. I'm stupid. Hi, guys. I'm dumb. <laughs> Thing is, I won't get to see your stupidity for another couple minutes. Seriously, you're so far behind. I don't get it. I know. It's never this bad. Are you watching on your computer or on your on your PlayStation? Uh, the computer. Hmm. Just because of convenience for the sure, yeah. I the mean, script, if you could believe it or not, we have one of those. We, yeah. Everything I'm saying, even these little conversational sides, all scripted. Yes, all my stupidity, you guys. We write this well in advance. This is this is just a ploy. I'm not really this dumb. Well, it increases the tension. I think it's smart. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Speaking of scripted things to say, would you like to hear the PlayStation description of this game? Uh, yes, please tell me. <laughs> One of these days you're going to tell me no, and then I'm just going to, I guess, delete it. <laughs> like, okay. From PSN.com, become the terrifying force which everything fears but nothing can escape. 
Awakened by the end of days, Death, the most feared of the legendary Four Horsemen, embarks on a quest to redeem his brother's name. Along the way, the Horseman discovers that an ancient grudge may threaten all of creation. Death lives. Wow. I know. It had me until that very last sentence. I like the last one. I like that. I thought that was cute. And I think the person who really? wrote that was said to themselves, Oh, I'm so clever. Did you write it? I did. <laughs> uh, you know what I don't like about that, though? The what? fact that they say death, the most feared of the legendary four horsemen. I'm pretty sure the next game is going to have a different horseman. So the first game has the war horseman. This one has death. It only makes sense that you would have the story of another one of the brothers. But right. if you're establishing that this one is the most feared, do you know what I mean? It's like, ignore the first one. He was nothing. And ignore any future ones. This is the one that people fear. Well, I feel like, I feel like death is the most feared feared like oh, way more people are afraid of death than are afraid of other things do you know what i mean i think death is a pretty yeah. common fear i have no idea where i'm you know, going right now by the way I'm just this puts wondering. us into a bigger conversation about the four horsemen and let's, let's avoid getting into christian theology on our little gaming yeah. uh, cast but sorry I always found it odd that we had death paired up with, you know, war and famine and, and, and disease. It felt like, well, one is kind of a result of the others. It feels yeah. like these are not balanced. I don't, I never understood that. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, oh, uh, death is a result of war and famine and, and whatever. Right. Yeah. So it felt like one was always sort of outclassing the others. Yeah, so it makes me wonder why did they make the death game before they made, you know, famine and whatever the third one is, or the fourth one. And I'm guessing it comes from a historical context of sometimes there were just a lot of unexplained deaths that you couldn't attribute to these other causes and so death was sure. sort of this almost like a like a an entity that decided things that were outside of any human context and the others were forces that affected you know humans in a recognizable context like not good or violence right so like sometimes people just die of natural causes or whatever or like you don't see that they're sick but they are and so you don't know that they're dying of disease but like they just die, and you're like, whoa, if people can just die of whatever, then what am I even doing with my life? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I finally so, figured yeah. out I have a horse. <laughs> I was, like, <laughs> running around the forest or the field or whatever you want to call this freaking thing. Uh, the second game you've played with horses, uh, the first one being Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom yeah. Pain. Yeah. I like this one better because it just appears. You don't have to wait for it. Ugh, thank you. The, the trying to maneuver the horse to show up to you and the time that's wasted for the horse to show up to you. Yeah. Unnecessary. Of course, I still don't know where I'm supposed to be riding this horse to, but I'm riding it nonetheless. Am I supposed to be going over here? Where did I even come from? You fell down there, didn't you? What? <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm so far in the past. It's out of context for you. <laughs> um, I guess the most general advice I can give is try and follow the, the quest marker, which is the yellow dot on your compass. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that, but then like I was like, isn't that the door that I came through? But I Alternatively, that. you could hold down the L3 button, that's the left tr trigger stick, and I think that will cause your blue avian friend to show you the path. Nope, it didn't do anything. Could be the right stick. It's one of the sticks, I think. No, I think I'm in the right place. Oh, no. Yeah. You do get a tutorial on it, but it's it's much later. Well, that's logical. And yeah, of course. 
uh, I think because they, they felt that everything was so linear, but I also had problems getting through to this, this area. I felt like the design of the level didn't really point out, you know, things and there was too much failing and you didn't get a sense of quote unquote pride and accomplishment. It felt more like, oh, finally. It, so this is meant to be like open worldy type, like, right? Like a I'm little bit, yeah. Sort of wandering around and then to be like, there is a quest, but I can also just like kill some shit. <laughs> Yeah, there are side quests you can you can take on, but it seems because the the game has a lot of um, distinct levels, they're distinct dungeons. It mm -hmm. still feels a bit linear. That it's more of a hub system that you then spread out to go to different places. Got it. It reminds me of this this open plane with the horse. I can't help but think of um, Ocarina of Time. Oh, sure. You're far behind, yeah, which... man. Catch up. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I'm going to concentrate on, on catching up with you. Okay. <laughs> you can also uh, hit that horse and it'll go faster. I don't want to hit the horse. Although the horse is probably yeah, yeah. like dead. It's probably like the dead horse. He probably doesn't feel any pain. He probably enjoys pain because he's like death's horse. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a, a sadomasochist horse, is that what yeah. you're suggesting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like, um, his that makes existence sense. is pain. He is on fire, green fire. So, like, you know, what is pain at that point? <laughs> <laughs> I, like how you're, I like your justification for this. Yeah. That's good. Still not going to hit him, but I, I can see why you would want to. Yeah. Have you equipped anything yet? No, I don't think so. I went into the, to the menu to like look at the stuff. I, I don't think yeah. I really. Okay. Have. I have like some gauntlets or something. Or, I don't know. I mean, it tells you pretty clearly with a little um, numbering whether it's more powerful or not. So. Yeah. yeah. Is this game, I know you haven't played uh, very much of the games that I, I compare these to. Is it reminding you of anything in particular? Any, any, I don't know, thematically, any experience you've played? Mm, no. Technically, this is an RPG, which I yeah. think is our first role-playing game. Yeah. I, uh, for me, that's that's my genre. RPG is 100% where, where my gaming skills are at. Yeah. Yeah, I can Action see RPGs, a little bit less so, but... You were saying? Uh, no, I wasn't. I was just saying that I can definitely, I definitely know RPGs are your, are your bag. Yeah. Yeah. Just to get up you know, and I'm, I'm okay being told, uh, you know, welcome to this experience. You're going to be playing it for the next 80 hours. I think a lot of people would find that daunting, especially if you're a trophy hunter, because it's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. But I don't know. I I kind of like that that larger scale. A little, uh, to have a story spread out that long to feel like I'm developing these characters and have to work for it. I, I enjoy that. Okay, I got back on my horse and now I don't know how to get off of him. <laughs> okay. Bye, horsey. Oh, good. Clickety clackety. Um, I'm guessing I jump over. Ah, I'm gonna stop asking you what I need to do because. <laughs> <laughs> if you could submit a request in writing, I will <laughs> respond. Uh... I will literally send you snail mail because it will get there faster. <laughs> <laughs> uh... If you wanted this to be quick, you should have paid for the Prime Tony service. Oh, yeah. Then it's, 
Sorry. It's instantaneous, but you didn't, so. I didn't, you're right. I also, uh, what, what? I know where I have to go, I just can't get there. Oh, my butt's asleep. Hey guys, don't sit on the floor while you're gaming because your butt falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. Uh, yeah. It's important. You gotta be comfortable. If you're gonna sit and play a game listen, for 80 hours, you know. I want you to do a series of PSAs, um, Captain America style from, uh, you know, all of your little PSAs. Just you in front of the camera, one after the other, gaming PSAs. Okay. Uh, right now? <laughs> right, right now. <laughs> That's the only mm. one I've got. Uh, don't sit on the floor. Uh, it's a good one, though. It's a classic. Take breaks frequently. Do you do that? Do you take breaks? No. I actually can find myself sitting in... This is not good, and people shouldn't do this. I could sit in front of a video game for, like five hours and yeah. then just feel like oh wow I've literally been sitting here for five hours I know that's really unhealthy but it's amazing yeah. how time will fly I can do that sometimes too I don't do that every time that I play video games but it can definitely happen if I get engaged in a task I get like I want to I want to do that before uh, I do anything else, right. but you know, if I if I'm dying constantly, then I feel like okay, I need to do something else, or I'm gonna become frustrated with this experience. Okay, <laughs> wait till you wait till you see what I just freaking did. I just totally okay. like <laughs> oh cheated my, my way onto this ledge. <laughs> I'm I swear. <laughs> I'm looking forward to your your parkour here. Oh, now I'm stuck. No, legit, my character is stuck. <laughs> oh no, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, game over. <laughs> it's a good one. Are you serious? That's hilarious. <laughs> and not even because of what I just did, because I was doing something different and I jumped, but then I got stuck in this, like, hole. Can you summon the horse? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm watching. You're still parkouring. It's hilarious how far behind I am. <laughs> so, uh, I wonder where my last autosave was. Can you save it right now? Maybe saving it right now will. But if throw I save it now, there. won't I be stuck in the, in this thing? Ooh, that's a good point. I don't know. Man, how far behind am I? Okay, there you. Trying to go up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I saw that you kind of... Yeah, I like, cheated my way up there. <laughs> yeah, you did. That was good, though. I know. Pretty good. <laughs> Got the chest, and... <laughs> Then what do you do? <laughs> There's a collectible, you're going after it. Yep. <laughs> there it is. And there I'm stuck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I can't even Lauren. <laughs> Lauren, you, you broke the game. <laughs> Alright. I get okay. Options. No. Uh, that is amazing. <laughs> quit game. That is amazing. <laughs> All right. I got to just, I got to quit and start for wherever my autosave was because that's just. <laughs> is this our first like glitch that we really. Yeah. I think it might be our first glitch of the channel. I don't want to be the, the one to say it, but bad game design. Yeah, and I'm like, I was like, oh, I don't want to jump off this ledge because I don't know what's down there, but I want to get this, this collectible. 
Oh, the intention was for you to obviously do it, right? Yeah, I mean, the collectible was there. How else so. were you going to get it? Yeah. I think if you had just, like, because I noticed once I got stuck that I could have just walked up to the ledge and it would have had the same effect, I think. Because mm -hmm. once I jumped, because I jumped and I then I noticed I got the page before I even, like, or the collectible before I even, like, cleared the edge, right. which is why I turned right. around to go back to the ledge, and I, then I got stuck in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just funny. Where did you jump out? Just at the beginning of this little forest area. Okay. How do I get off this stupid horse? Uh, L1 and R1 at the same time. Oh, so the same way you summon him. That makes perfect sense, Lauren. not even going to go get those collectibles this time cuz now i'm just annoyed at them <laughs> don't even bother no, they don't deserve your attention they don't they don't earn me the trophy that i'm looking for anyway so screw them mm -hmm. oh i should get on the horse then Okay, are you currently okay, so I'm, you're currently on a horse <laughs> for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm on a horse at the moment. Okay, so now this is not Earth. This is another world populated by creators of worlds in which corruption, the concept, yeah. is taking over people uh -huh. and causing them to become orc-like enemies. Is that a pretty good um, summary as far as you're concerned? Uh, yes. From the very little that I've actually paid attention to what's going on here, that sounds about right. Kind of weak. <laughs> yeah. I like how you're still daring to go to edges after your <laughs> oh. world-breaking experience. I'm, I'm, I turned around quickly. All right, it just auto saved. So if I get stuck again, I know where I'm going to. Right here. The charred path. Ooh, I'm on my, I'm on my way to the, the, the fire of the mountain. Ooh, there's like stuff. Are you there, Tony? I am here. Okay. It's just, uh, I thought I, lost I can't you again. help you because you're so far behind. No, I, you're far behind. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't expecting your help. I just didn't know if you had, if I had gotten kicked out of the party again. I can give you moral support. Yeah, I mean, that's all I'm really looking for. You're competent. <laughs> I believe in you, competent human. Wow. I can almost believe you. <laughs> Have you tried pushing the buttons in a different order? <laughs> I almost got stuck again. <laughs> um, I feel like I should be able to get up there. How do I get over there? Oh, there's a collect. Um, yeah, it looks like you should, but I guess not because uh, it looks like you've zoned into a new area. What? What are you looking <laughs> <Again>. at? <laughs> I might be so far behind. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just saw you almost get stuck. Okay. Oh, yeah, in the guy, in the whatever is on the. 
Yeah, I'm, I mean, I should be able to get up over here somehow. Yeah, but I feel like that's back where you came from. No, 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 no. Your goal mark is going the other way. I know. Okay. But there's... There's a collectible... A shiny thing? Over there. <laughs> and the bird is up there. You said, hmm, gotta get shiny thing. Alright, screw the shiny thing. Boop. You know, it was... I saw the... I'm one of these people who... So I obviously saw the path that I was supposed to be taking, right? Mm -hmm. But there was another path that went a different way, and I was like, ooh, what's over here? And that is how I play video games. I go... I think, I think we've been trained to play that way, that if you yeah. go the path you're expected to go, you, you, you're yeah. going to get through your mission, but you're right. not going to find the stuff. Right, exactly. You have to go the, the, off the beaten path. You have to go the wrong way. Otherwise, what's the yeah. point? It's just what you do in life. You've got, you know, you're, you're, you gotta go down this highway to get to work, but yeah. you see there's another road, looks real shady, but probably a treasure down there. Yep. That seems like a terrible way to live your life. Oh Let's yeah, judge. that's horrible. You don't wanna, you don't wanna do that in real life. <laughs> What's down this dark alley? That's how you die. I was surprised playing this game, uh, you know, with context that it's about the apocalypse and the, the four, four horsemen and death uh -huh. and all this stuff. Not very violent. It's very cartoony. Yeah. I think even Overwatch. I, I thought it would be much more hardcore. Yeah. I think maybe that's a little bit of why you feel like the graphics aren't living up to what you expected because it feels like, huh, I was expecting a much more realistic take on this. Yeah. Yeah, it feels very... Um, uh, whoops, no, I didn't want... Oh, Alright, I'm done with you. It does feel very cartoony. It feels kind of like... Um, what are those games? Uh... I don't know what I'm thinking of. Like a, like a cartoon or? Yeah. Like Never a specific mind. cartoon? <laughs> yes, it feels like, I, and I can I can picture it in my head. There's this like game where it was like Abe's Odyssey or something, where it's like. Oh yeah, that is yeah. Is I know that, that game. Cartoony, right? Like. And I think that even was a, a PlayStation download at one point. Yeah, I think it was. Helps time. probably why you know it. No, I mean, yes, I know it because of that, but like, I there was an older version, or like whatever, I played it a long time ago. See, our fans don't like that. When we have backstory before the, before the stream. Right, they only know what's been in our episodes. That's what I'm saying, and I feel like we don't want to confuse them, so we should just assume that our lives began when we started streaming. I don't think we should have that story. We were... we... yes. We sprouted fully grown in September, mm -hmm. and yep. <laughs> we have only... we only exist on Thursday evenings. Around 7-ish. Around... Uh, yeah. 8-ish. A couple of hours, and then we disappear back into the darkness of yep. Twitch. <laughs> uh, and our, our viewers go, who were those devilishly good-looking streamers? This guy, look at this. It won't let me complete this because this one guy over here is not dead. And when you see what I'm talking about, when you catch up in three years, uh, yeah. you'll laugh hysterically. Are you are you stuck again? Are you able to kill him? No, I, I yes, I, I was able to kill him, but like okay, he was stand, he was running on a ledge, but not going oh, anywhere. Oh, I see. I see. Him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see him. That's really funny. Uh, right? He's like, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. You stay there. You. I'm coming. <laughs> You're gonna regret it. I'm coming. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's great. He's my favorite. He's, oh, yeah. Bob the Orc. <laughs> Wait, he was he was um third alternate. Somehow everyone got sick, and they they said, you know, Bob, you can come. Just don't don't fuck it up on that ledge. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> Hilarious. Good times. So, you're meeting a new exposition guy. I was like, I'm meeting a new ex? What are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, how can I have a new ex? Wait. My bad. Exposition. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Has uh, he also earrings. offers a sub quest if you particularly wanted to take it on. You could accomplish it on your route to the main quest. Okay. Tell me about the Not required, but an optional, you know, an optional little easy thing to do. He's gonna pop the cork. Ooh, Whatever that means. I think you know what it means. Uh, um. I think death is about to get it on, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> He's going to invite his sadomasochist horse. It's going to be an evening. Wow. <laughs> you know, that's just like way too much going on right there. <laughs> did, did I just increase the, the adult level of this show? Yeah. I think we need to rate this. This episode is rated M for mature. Just this episode, so. though. Just, just this one. <laughs> this one and, uh, what is it, Kung Fu Panda? Both rated R. They're... Kung Fu Panda is rated R for ridiculous. Ooh, I like it. Uh... Um, while we have some downtime, how do you feel so far about the quality of the December PS? Plus games compared to the November PS Plus games. Um, okay, can you remind me what we played in November? I, I know in November, because of like holidays and scheduling, we only played two games. We did. Um, can you and refresh can. my memory? The games we played were. <laughs> I remember we played. One was you, the one you played, the VR game, right? Rush of Blood. Until dawn. We also played Worms Battlegrounds. Oh, yes. Yes. We're and uh, that's it. Um, Just the two. Um, so Worms Battlegrounds was fun. Um, I feel like this is a puzzle. No? It I'm is. This is uh, got a little bit of a, I don't know, Tomb Raider vibe. Okay. Let me figure it out. Um, so Worms Battlegrounds is good, and you really enjoyed the Until Dawn game, yeah? I did. I feel like uh, Kung Fu Panda was terrible. I mean, I hated it, but it was, it was great. Oh yeah, yeah, it was great. It was fun to watch you play. And like telling me you hated me and what did I do to you and why did I make you play that game? That was fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda and this compared to those two games, kind of not great. Kind of not great. You know what's crazy is that these two games have a similar length to get the platform. Which is crazy. I mean, we're talking about like fighting game <laughs> for yeah. to take that 36 hours compared to this game in which it's a similar time frame just to get through the main story uh, unacceptable well you know why that freaking game takes 35 hours because you have to invite your people every single flip in time you want to play an online match <laughs> uh, i think that's hours. the consistent theme is that game design that feels like eh it gets the job done it's not pretty, it's certainly not player conducive, but it technically works. Right? Like, this is functional, and that's all we need. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think that is the, I think that's literally where they stopped. I feel like maybe it was a development cycle that was just like, this actually works, we're not going to do it anymore. I have a bomb. Where am I? 
A little bit of, again, Ocarina of Time influence there. Open the chest in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> one chest in the thing, please. <laughs> I'll take chest number one in the thing. The green crystals, I think they're supposed to be representations of corruption. Would you agree with that? Um, sure. And so what, what are the bombs supposed to be? More corruption? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I can spend my skill point. You could. I still don't know how to use this. <laughs> um... <laughs> Hey, listen, if you had, you know, infinitesimal power, uh, you can summon giant hands. You would use that to open doors, right? You would just summon the hands, open this door for me, but use it in no other context. That's about right, right? Um, okay. I just, it's an element that's not used anywhere else except for when you open doors and open chests. These giant, <laughs> oh, like, side hands come out, and it's like... What? Why is that happening? There is a game. God, what game is it? Where, like, you're fighting giant hands. Uh, Super Smash Brothers? No, 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 no. No, it's like a, it's like a PlayStation 2 game. Oh, dear lord. Um, it's a PlayStation 2 game. Mm-hmm. And you are this chick. And she just fights giant Very hands. descriptive so far. I don't know. What be dead? <laughs> Let's Google it. Dear Google, <laughs> chick that fights hands. <laughs> Video games. Oh, um. <laughs> you know what? Amazingly, this is uh, not giving me very many good results. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised. Where am I? I'm getting a lot of stock images of women's hands playing games. Oh, there's a collectible. <laughs> it's a little weird. It's like a lot of hands. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, do I just have to lean away and jump? Yeah, I think you hold L2 to jump backwards. <laughs> I nearly got stuck again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, you are like designed to find these flaws. It's amazing. I'm designed to design the desi design. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> uh, you know what it is? It's the collectibles. Every time you're like, hmm, this is an obvious trap, but. It's no, glowing. It wasn't, it wasn't even the collectible that I was trying to get. It was I was just trying to jump to the to the ledge that I was clearly meant to just fall down and die to. <clears throat> I mean, I don't believe you. There, there was a glowy thing in the in the next room. I think that's your motivation, but. I mean, okay, I, whatever I did, I helps did, you sleep at night. I did get a glowy thing, but that wasn't the purpose. That's not where I fell. Okay, how do I get over there without dying a lot? I don't think you can. I think you gotta go around. No, I, I know that. You're behind again. I Well, I'm sorry. I, what can <laughs> I say? I'm just kidding. 
So I have to get this bomb to throw it at that thing. Yeah. So how do I get over to where the bomb is? Is what I'm is what my question is. How to get the bomb? How to be the bomb? Follow it. Yeah, you there you go. Look at you. You're following it from the bomb up that vine. So it'll be Oh, I have to go up there. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, I see it. Thanks. It's like when you're, you know, in kindergarten and they give you a maze. From the maze and go backwards. It's way easier usually. You know, from your you're you're welcome. Out again. <laughs> Hi, I'm just gonna walk into the lava and die because I'm stuck. <laughs> Ay, 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 okay. Up the wall. Um, can I jump on this line? Don't I jump up here on this thing? But it's like high up. <clears throat> are these vines climbable? I don't think they are. If you, yeah, they should be. No, I, I think I'm meant to go on this hangy thing, but it's like far away, it's like up high. Yeah, I don't think I can climb on the vines. Still confusing? Oh, yeah. No, I got it. I just had to be at the right angle to get up on this thing is all I'm good, thank you. I didn't like these puzzles, I'm gonna be honest with you. I found them to be a bit dull. Whoops. <clears throat> you circle and death will dismount. <laughs> dismount like he's doing gymnastics. I hope I can just jump from here to there because I'm gonna. Okay, good. Yeah, you know what? For being like. Ugh. I get that it's an RPG and like the puzzles are like. You know. They make the gameplay interesting when you're not like actively fighting stuff, I guess. But. Yeah. Also, like. Just, I don't want to platform in an RPG. Yeah, you know, this is the whole, um, hack and slash action RPG thing. It, it's like a bunch of elements to different types of games. And it's interesting because the RPG component is so toned down. You get yeah. the skills and you get to kind of choose that. Similar to, 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 um, um, oh my gosh, we were talking about it just earlier. Dragon Age. Oh. But, um, Dragon Age still feels it feels like an RPG. It feels like yeah. you're actually choosing the way that your character interacts with this world. Here, it feels like a platforming game in which there are some light RPG elements. Yeah. And I mean, uh, okay, in Kingdom Hearts, there's like some puzzle bits or whatever. But not yeah. enough where it's like, I ever felt that it took away from the action. Like, these yeah. puzzles are friggin' boring. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, they really are. They, they certainly don't like challenge you in a way that it feels more like a, uh, a nuisance. Like I have to get to there to do that. It's not like you have to sit here and really think about it. It's more like, where is the path that's just hidden for no good reason? Right. Like, like, oh, let me look up. Oh, I figured it out. <laughs> I found a map to my current area. Cool. Um, okay. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I accidentally pushed the buttons that would summon my horse. <laughs> no place for a horse. <laughs> Hilarious. Turn to that guy and ask him about Mountain Dew. <laughs> that is not what it said. That is funny. arms from the shoulders down <laughs> it's weird right yeah oh, now it's giving me the tutorial on how to summon the bird How's the gameplay? A little repetitive? Yeah, it's like, uh, jump here, run along this wall here, follow the bird. Well, hang in there, this is your job. My job? That's right, you have been contracted by the internet to do this. Mm. How much does the internet pay me? And, uh, <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta talk about that, but uh, the internet's not doing good as of today, so yeah, uh, I will get today, back to you. The internet is doing poorly. The, Can the, I guarantee? The internet companies are doing quite well, though. <laughs> we, uh, our little channel has to negotiate now with the big companies, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Political commentary. <laughs> Guys, we're topical. <laughs> yeah, well, they can't say we're not. We talked about EA. We talked about uh, net neutrality. What else can we throw in there? You know, taxes. Ugh, boring. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what else we got? What's going on in the world? Well, every celebrity we know and love is a sexual assaultant. Is that? I mean, yes, that's happening. Um, sure. I feel a little, like, weird, like, is there something wrong with me because I haven't assaulted anybody? Do you know what I mean? Like, um, I just feel like I should have because it seems to be totally in vogue. I don't know. Here's the thing, though, like, 
you could have, in theory, like, said or done things that people are, that people find offensive or, ab like, as abuse, they see it as abuse and not even know it. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know how other people take shit that you say or do. That's true. We all live in I mean, in I'm not saying that you have been, like, you know, secretly assaulting people and not knowing it, but I'm just saying in general, like, you know, you don't know how people are going to react to shit, and then it could come back years later where they're like, hey, remember that thing that you did that one time that was, like, completely inappropriate, and you're like, what? Like, we're friends. I thought we were just doing, like, a friendly thing, and then, like... I don't know. You know anyway, what the problem is, though? The problem is that <laughs> there's like a culture of not feeling like you can come out and talk about these things because yeah. there's going to be a recourse. Yeah. And so that's why these things do stay hidden for a long time. Oh, it's yeah. sad. It is sad. I agree completely. There we go. Trifecta. Three topics. We're done. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, oh, I thought I was going to die. Back to this fascinating gameplay. Yeah. And it would be, like, this gameplay wouldn't be terrible if the graphics were at all interesting. Or if, like, everything wasn't monotonous and, like, gray, or right now it's red. <laughs> but, like... Yeah. Ugh. So, now they were pointing out about... I'm, like, staring at death right now, which is a yeah. little weird. I'm staring he is at kind death. kind of... <laughs> He's kind of muscly, and that's a little weird. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. Like, you, when I think of death, you think of robed, you know, black robes with skeleton hand, or you think about, like, a skeletal type thing. You don't yeah. think of, you know, I'm a bodybuilder. Exactly. Yeah, this is really right? Weird. It's an interesting design choice. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's not. It's not that interesting. It's just... We want, it's very uh, standard. It's very, you're playing as a muscular hero. It doesn't matter that he's deaf. It just has to fit this, this design. Yeah. So is the is the bird actively helping you now or Yeah. Cool. So, are you even aware why you're, um, doing what you're doing? No. Oh, I, yes. I have to, like, rekindle a fire or something for that guy. That's pretty close. I think it's literally the forge with which they create worlds. I see. So I have to get his forge up and running. Yeah. Okay. But Shadow here's bomb. the thing, right? Yeah. Are you really that much more powerful than these guys are? It feels like, oh no, our fire's gone out and we're just gonna stand here and, and, and do nothing. There's no indication that we've even attempted to yeah. do anything. Like, I'm not gonna do anything to, oh my God, the camera angles while I'm trying to roll this shit. Okay, there we go. I see, I was still on like targeting uh, mode. It was my mistake. Unless, 
are all of these monsters supposed to be the dead, like, warriors before you? Is that is that what they're trying to do? Oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt to the, to the story of this game. So, okay, let's assume that's the case, that all of these, these, I don't know, monsters, they're the previous inhabitants of this world, they, they are the ones trying to undo this. But it still begs the question, did they also put together this puzzle with these balls? Like, that yeah. doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's not like this is some ancient thing that was hidden away. Do you know what I mean? Like, if this were Uncharted, it would be like, oh, lost civilization protecting their treasure. Okay, it's a bit bullshit, but okay. There's a basic thing there. Here, it's like our forge stopped working because now go solve these puzzles? Yeah. That was the first um, on-screen kind of breaking the game tutorial that you've gotten. And I think the reason you had that is because I'm betting a lot of playtesters were thoroughly confused on how to do this. Well, I'm still confused. I mean, I get that I have to dislodge that using the thing, but I don't know, like, where I... Like... I still don't know. Wait, do I have to put it here first? There's three of them. You'll go to the one that's not near the gate. Three, three of what? Three of the holes. Yeah, I know. Two of them, two of them that's access the gate, and the that's what third I said. one. Do I have to put it in this other one, meaning the one not yeah. near the gate? Because then there's a second ball back there, and I just noticed that when I went to go get the you. collectible. <laughs> See, sometimes collectibles are good, Tony. Collectibles are always good. I'm not. I'm not denying the helpfulness of collectibles. No, I'm terrible at collecting them. So for you, they're they're just kind of look at them. <laughs> oh no! Why won't it let me? Oh my god! I'm terrible at rolling balls, apparently. So ridiculous, it's true. He's so, he's so bad at it. <laughs> ah, sorry. But like, but like, he like, he like scoots. He, like, <laughs> he doesn't put and his again. other foot forward. He just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does look so stupid, doesn't it? Um, and again, he's supposed to be all powerful. Why doesn't he use his giant ghostly arms to do that. Right? Ugh. Okay. Let me summon them to open this chest, but not to roll this ball. Oh, I got a weapon. Let me say something. Or this candy. would be so easy to say, oh, you're no longer in the realm of humans, so your powers are, like, subdued or something. You right. can easily do that, but they don't. Instead, you go through the tutorial with the same powers that you have here. It feels like, you know, they should have attempted to to explain the scope of this guy's power yeah and dampen it somehow so it makes sense for you to gain the powers back yeah right like like an onimusha <laughs> yes like in that thing that i've heard of and played doesn't he like he like gets powers he like gets his powers back as he like kills the demons or whatever? I don't know. Right. <laughs> I mean, okay, so you have this common problem with sequels to games, especially when they have the same character that you spend all this time leveling up, getting super powerful, and then you get to the second game and they're back at level one or they have no skills. Right. And some games ignore that problem some yeah. games uh do the whole oh no your powers were sucked away right. you this get them back happened. kind of yeah. a thing yeah, yeah. this game doesn't even have that problem because it's not the same character yeah. but like it's still a god-like creature 
Oh, I see. It Did just feels like timer? you didn't even have that problem, but you still have that problem. Yeah. Okay. Jump. Thank you. No, I don't. Oh my god. Okay. Jump. Yes, there. So this is a timer. Yeah. And I have to go over here. Over, 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 no, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm generally okay at it. I was gonna say, you've never really had that many problems with, with no, 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 from what I've seen. Yeah. I'm, it I'm, makes you feel better? I had similar problems here. Yeah. Because it's like you have to jump, ooh, you have to jump. They like, because you're trying to like hurry, so you think you have to like, I'm trying to yeah. jump away. I'm, I, oh, I was pushing the wrong button, that's why. So you're like in a hurry because there's like a timer and then you get like frustrated because you're like, no, I'm, I need to, I need to do this in yeah. the right amount of time and then you like rush and you push the button wrong and yeah. You got it. There was this, uh, in the Assassin's Creed game with the ships, Black Flag. Yeah, there we was, love that game. Uh, yeah, it's pretty great. But there was this one mission where you had to, like, uh, chase down this, like, captain or general or something before he got to, like, the, um, like the, I don't know, the fortress or something to, like, warn people mm -hmm. and stuff. And I swear to God, I played that level, like, 50 times one night because I couldn't Frickin' catch him. And I was like, I googled it, like, what am I doing wrong? How do I catch this guy? And the internet just yeah. said, like, it literally just said, chase him until you catch him. And I'm like, are you flipping kidding me? Like, is there like a path that I should be following? Because, you know, on, on in Assassin's Creed, it's like, sometimes you can yeah. go on the upper path, or sometimes there's like, you can take the ground path. Yeah. But, no, this was basically like, just chase him until you can catch him. And I'm like, thank you. That's so, so funny. Much. There are so many times that I'll do that. Well, it feels like, what am I doing wrong? And the internet's like, oh, just do the thing. And it's like, but how do I do the thing? Right. I'm really failing at this thing that everyone else is doing. Please help me do the thing. But then, like, sometimes it'll be like, you'll be like, how do I do this thing? Like, the most simple basic thing. And all you need is, like, a two-word explanation. And it gives you, like, ten paragraphs. And you're like, um, yeah. <laughs> internet, you're being dumb. <laughs> slow, slow, slow your roll, internet. Yeah. This thing? Okay, I just got a platter. Because, <laughs> you know, why wouldn't there be a platter in a freaking dungeon? <laughs> like, oh, here's my serving platter, guys. I, we were having a big meal, and I just, I left it. <laughs> I'm Listen, sure it's like it a platter for his, his, like, forge or whatever. Like a, you know, like a tool that you use, but it's just called a platter. It's so funny, because it's true. Oh great, I have no health potions and oh no I have to. Never mind. Why am I on this mode? No. No. 
Go, go, go. Ah, there. I'm guessing this is the boss I have to beat in order to get the trophy. This is it. This is the big thing. All right. Well. Do it. I believe in you. Really close on that one. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. <laughs> I have no idea why I just pushed that button to like pull the thing back up or whatever. <laughs> Completely unnecessary. <laughs> but... Darn. Oh, is this stuffing? Oops! Yo. Okay. I think that's to help you get... Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm pressing the uh, evade button. I want to... Okay, you know what? When you push evade, you should be able to evade the shit. Oh my god! Like, I'm pushing the R1 button, you piece of crappiness. Jump around. Uh. Again, it's 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 so much um, dodging. Like I yeah. find it, it's almost like a test of patience. Dad trolled right into him. Ugh. Okay. It's 
tough because <laughs> I feel like you get stronger as you get near the end of it. Right. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, Tony. Have you tried using your secret move, your L1 and what is it? It's L1 and X? I don't even X know how to do that. I don't know how it works. I think it like warps you into a pretty strong no, attack. No, but I mean like what buttons do I push is what I'm saying. Um, L1 and X, I think. Oh, I had to assign it a button. I hadn't yet. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I do like that free move that I got from that one guy. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Ugh. It's kind of exciting to watch, it's like, ah, oh, you can do this! Yeah, well, it's not very exciting to play. I mean, it is, but it's also <laughs> frustrating. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Did you see that? No, I'm, I'm <laughs> still behind. See You'll see it in a second. No, oh, you can do this, come on. <laughs> da! Da! <laughs> da! <laughs> that was my exact reaction. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can tell you were like freaking out here, like. Just do uh, yeah. the thing. Oh, you do it again. You do do it, don't you? You're almost dead. Did you? Did you? <laughs> did you? You did the thing. You did the thing. I did oh, it. Oh my gosh. I know. That it's is so very intense. intense. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did he not have that giant weapon before? What the f? <laughs> Upsetting. Huh. Okay, you did good. That was good. Yay! Yeah. yeah. All right. So the game is going to give you a tutorial. Uh, we're mm -hmm. going to leave the dungeon. Just, just go ahead and head out the doors. It, yeah. it gives you. It's going to give you like a tutorial on warping or fast traveling. So you'll want to do that. Okay. You got like two minutes of gameplay. So, uh, did you think that boss fight was fair? Yeah, I thought it was... Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was fine. I feel like if I had uh, been... Once I figured out that wraith move, it was pretty... 
Pretty much fair easier. Fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you got the scythes of frost. Yeah. Do 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 do. Death doing chores. <laughs> He's helping people. It's really not in character, but whatever. It's just the game. <laughs> I feel like I sing in every episode. I don't know what this is. I about. am always singing. Like, always. <laughs> Especially when it's like things that I'm kind of bored at. Like, do you know how many different variations of doing the dishes, the oh song I've come up with? Do you know when I used to work at Best Buy, I would sit in that back room and sing to myself mm -hmm. all day long. Just like the <laughs> stuff I really? was doing. Like, oh yeah, I forgot to count this drawer. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love that. That's great. Right? It was fun. And then I was like, oh yeah, there's cameras in this room. Thank God they don't pick up sound. <laughs> I hope you were being real, like, dancing around the room, though. Oh my God. Okay, so yeah. you've opened the fire stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have done that. Which, again, no good explanation as to how that got closed in the first place. But okay. Am I supposed to go this way? Show me the way. where to go. Mm -hmm. Going down the steps. I do appreciate when games give you a quick exit. I think that's great. Yes. Instead of having to travel no all the way back trick. through the dungeon, yeah. No one likes that. No one does. True story. Add your game. Exactly. No, I what think it's Mountain Dew. You gotta... <laughs> <How to do? laughs> uh... Welcome to Mountain Dew. I found that dish that you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I do have several questions on how it got there. <laughs> Fast travel to discovered location. Press options yes. to view the world. Do, do that thing. And then what? And go back to where the the thing is. But I mean, yeah, how do I control? Oh my god! Why are the controls for the map the right stick and not the left? Oh, I'm stick? sorry. Were you trying to use the D-pad and then you said, oh, no, no, I already know that's not an option. The... And then you went to the left stick and, and you were like, wait, what? And I immediately went to the left stick. And of course, of course. All right, where am I supposed to travel to? It should be marked with a little, like, yellow dot, I think. Oh, primary quest? Yeah. <sighs> I earned a trophy called Pathfinder. It's a good trophy to get, not the trophy we're looking for, but I'll not give you the, the stats on that, that one. I, want. I love I love the theme song for not the trophy we want. <laughs> Pathfinder is rewarded for first use of fast travel. At sixty point five five percent common, it is the third most common third most fourth common. most common trophy achieved. Now talk to Mrs. Girl Facehead, I believe is her name. Okay. Where is it, it might not be her name, it's possible. Which that one I, is I got she, that the wrong. one up on the, over here? She's the one with the face and the head. Okay, but both of the girls have faces and heads. Oh, she's that the one that has seem the- That right, are you she's sure? The, she's the one that has the weird, the yellow dot on her. I thought my explanation of face and head was pretty clear, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I got it. And calm. Calm? That fuck? He hasn't a clue. And yet, the forge burns once more. You know what awaits you, Ryder. To finish this, you must restore the tears. I'm not your errand boy, Maker. Aye, but our fates are now yoked. Help us, and we will help. 
Meantime, take this. It might be of use. A pistol. Yeah, I thought that also seemed weird. Yeah, definitely weird. Restore the tears, then return to me. You said there were two things. Yes. Fire will not be. We require both. I don't care about your story. My power level. Yeah, trophy earned. Fight of the mountain. You've done the thing. The I thing that we it. set out to do. The thing you've done. You've done the thing. Congrats. Thank you. Welcome. Fire of the mountain uh, achieved just after looks familiar. Looks familiar at forty. At 61.74%, also common. Congratulations, you've received a total of four trophies in your quest to collect the one Fire of the Mountain. Conceit of the show completed. We're done, though. I mean, with. You take that controller and you throw it as hard as you can against the TV screen, and we'll buy you a new one tomorrow. Um, how about no? Okay, also a good option. Cool. Especially since they'll probably have to pay for the internet now. Um, yeah, let's sure. talk about how you thought this game went. But first, can we talk about the gun? Yeah, what's up with that? Why would death have a gun? Here's why I don't like gun. With swords and magic and all this stuff, I feel like it's skill-based. How good the character is yeah. with these items, it's kind of like, you know, you're doing it with a gun, there's no skill, you just point and shoot. I don't understand why thematically a gun makes sense. Right. But I think the gun probably comes from the first game. The way the uh. trophy makes it seem, it's like maybe the, the brother's weapon. Maybe. Maybe. But still. How'd you like the game? Um, you know, I thought it was okay for being like an older game. It seemed like it was fine. It wasn't yeah. like super entertaining or like you know, really compelling in any way, shape, or form. But, you know, yeah. what do I know? <laughs> well, you know, the gameplay. Yeah. So Two I'd like to play a little game with this. you. Okay. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, I'm going to get first whether is going to beat the Metacritic rating score. That's, that's part one of the game. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and say that you are not going to beat the Metacritic rating score. I think you're going to go lower. Yeah. Okay. And then now I want you to do is to give me your rating out of 100. Zero being the worst game ever played. 100 being the best game you ever played. Go ahead and give me give me your number with a little um, explanation of why. I'm going to give this game... I'm going to give this game a 60. Because... The controls weren't all that intuitive, and mm -hmm. it was kind of boring. And maybe mm -hmm. I wouldn't have found it boring if, like, I had played the first game. Who knows? I will never know this game. But then, like, the story yeah. just felt like, what am I even doing? Like, why is there corruption? What happened? I must have missed something, clearly. But, like, I don't know. And the character design is weird, and, like... Why do I have a gun? And just like, there's so much weird weirdness in this game that I just don't... It just kind of wasn't great. It wasn't terrible. Yeah. It wasn't like the worst game I've ever played. But right. I really don't see myself... Like, I never would have played this if if it hadn't been one of these for this. Look at how... And what was your score again? 60. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I I kind of agree with what you're saying. I don't think there's much more I can add to that. It just yeah. feels like I already said. It feels like uh, they got it to a point where it was playable, and they stopped. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so here's the next component of the game. What I want you to do is to guess whether you beat the Metacritic rating or not. Oh, goodness. Um... But here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read to you 
the highest and lowest ratings without the numbers. Okay. Okay? Okay. So the highest. Digital Chumps said of this game. It's still an excellent game, over three years removed from its original release, and having all of its content in one place here, with spruced up visuals and tweaked loot distribution is nice. But the graphical hiccups are a disappointment, although likely patchable. Still, for $30 or less, this is one of the best buys in gaming this holiday for anyone that hasn't played Darksiders 2 before. Okay. Low End Gaming Age said, for $29.99, it's a good value for someone new to franchise and only veterans who aren't expecting a definitive edition. Um, I'd say that I did not beat the Metacritic score. What do you think the Metacritic score is? Higher than a 60. <laughs> well, you're correct. Uh, we're both correct. Um, I guessed that you were not going to beat it. You guessed that you were not going to beat it, and you did not beat it. Metacritic gave it a 72 compared to your 60. Okay. The highest was 86 by Digital Chumps. The lowest, 50 by Gaming Age. So the big question for all of our fans, the ones that they've stuck around this entire time, looking at you, people who have not, to <laughs> figure out whether this game is worth downloading or not. Yeah. From HowLongToBeat.com, you'd have to play for 20 hours to beat the main story, 28.5 hours to beat the main story and all the extras, and if you wanted that platinum trophy, an average of 43.5 hours. At a 15 gigabyte download and a 29.99 price point, what do you think? Is it worth downloading? Um, I feel like if you have PlayStation Plus, it's worth yes. it's worth the purchase the free purchase right. i wouldn't necessarily say that it's worth downloading and playing that 15 gigs man and like the 28 hours to beat all of it i, I don't know like i can't see i couldn't see myself playing this game for 20 hours yeah i'm in the same boat with you i found it i found the story to be wholly lacking yeah the gameplay to be repetitive yeah. really uninteresting design and it felt like if i had to play this for 44 hours yeah. to like get that sense of platinum uh -huh. even just to get through the quote-unquote story at 20 hours yeah it feels like not worth it yeah we we played for two and i was like is this game over yet like yeah no I, and that's yeah. when i was playing it by myself to to to, to know you know the trophies i yeah. also felt like oh this is a a slog Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a thumbs down. Yeah, I agree. You know, and it's kind of disappointing. Both of the games we've played in December have been no's. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it hasn't been a good December. No. No, it hasn't. Well, maybe we can break it. Uh, we're going to alter our gaming schedule for next week. We're going to do it on Tuesday yes. because uh, holidays are coming. We've got a lot of things to do, family coming into town. Yeah. So we'll be playing Forma Period 8. How would you say that? Forma 8? Forma dot 8? Forma I would just say Forma, form, point Forma, eight? Forma 8. Ignore the, ignore the period ignore entirely? Ignore the period. Okay, ignoring the period. Forma 8 is what we're playing on Tuesday. So, uh... Come back, join us for what's hopefully a much better game than these last two have been. Yes, and if our lovely viewers want to follow us in the gaming world, how would they do such a thing, Tony? Well, they can log into their PlayStation Network profile. They mm -hmm. can search for the following username, Paradox, P-A-I-R-O-D-O-C-S, to follow me and game together with all the much better games that are out there. Yes, but if yes. they wanted to follow you, how would they do that? Um, I, on the PlayStation Network, am Caustic Sofa. Um, That's a sofa you don't want to sit on. You don't. You really don't. But you can play Overwatch with me anytime that I'm playing it. So go play uh, the new mode with May hunting the Yeti because it is so much fun. Do that thing. That thing that Do I thing that agree I and said. know about. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And don't download this game, sorry. Yeah, don't download it. Put it in your library for, I don't know, whatever reason you might want to have it, because it's free. But just don't bother playing it, ever. Yeah, I'm, I agree. Yeah. 
Well, just play this game. This has been fun, as always. Yes. We'll thanks for you. joining me. Yes, thanks for joining us, and we will see you next Tuesday. Bye.